you just tell everyone a little bit about you before we start? So for those of you that don't yes. know, um, Amanda set up her own tanning brand. Has it been a year yet? Not just. A, a year in May. A year in May. And you did a podcast. I did, when we did the podcast, God, yes. yes, that seems ages ago now. And um, she has really revolutionized the tanning business. And I'm not just saying that. I have been an avid fake tanner for years. And, yes. Yeah, and, you know, was wearing a lot of the other famous brands until I met Amanda. And actually her brands, not only do they stay on for a long time, the way you can apply them, the color matching to your skin, it really is totally fantastic. And so we're so excited to have you on the show today. You're going to give us a few top tips, tips for brides, yes. also yes. tips for other people as well. You don't have to be a bride to get these tips. Um, it's just, you know, a feel good uh, kind of tutorial that's really going to help. So where do you want to start? Do you want to start with feeling good at home? Shall or... we start there? Because I think that's a nice place to start. I think it's, a, you know, to just... We're not wearing that much makeup at home. No. Unless we're doing the Zoom conference call or something, are we? You wake up in the morning, your skincare is probably the thing that you're really going to be um, looking after. Sorry, I'm just going to lower myself slightly. There we go. Yeah, sorry, am I a bit, I'm probably a bit No, low. that's it. I'm done now. Yeah. I was too high. <laughs> and um, it's all about when you put a bit of tan on, I know how I feel the next morning. It just brings you back to life again, doesn't it? Yeah, and it just... I mean, with this particular technique, it's almost like I want it to, I want it to be semi-permanent makeup, right? So I want you to, to do it as part of your makeup routine. So it's, it's, it's contouring, but it's an all over glow. And then you can just shove on some mascara and some eye gel and eyebrow gel and, yeah, and yeah. look good on a Zoom. It will take five minutes because... I mean, our skin's having an amazing time because we're not putting so much makeup on. Yeah, yeah, amazing. yeah. Um, so have you got your kit there? I have indeed. How I do tan, everybody, is in two sections. So I do, I do the face with something slightly different to the body. Um, with the face, I use non-comedogenic mists. So they're like hyaluronic mists. And they've got CQ10 in them, they've got collagen in them, and you just, they, you can build them pretty much like um, a foundation, in a way. So, like, when I put mine on, you can even yes. put it on on the day that you're kind of going yes. out as well. You like, you don't, you can do it the night before, can't you? But, you, you know, it, it's something that can work with your makeup. What I would say is if you're using, depends on your skincare, if you're using a glycolic, yeah. Or retinol, etc. You're going to be doing all of that the night before. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're going to be doing your tan the day after, if that makes sense. I've got glycolic prep pads. Have you got those? These got those, are yeah. amazing. Um, now, I've never used these before. So. I buy them now because they're very light level. They're not going to be, I don't like it when a glycolic pad is stingy. Yeah. These are biodegradable cotton, okay? okay? And I made them quite oh. big because I want one to do, I don't like wastage. I'm obsessed with no waste. So I want one to do the whole face and the neck. Right. You just put the whole, like this. And then you can flip the pad. I mean, you know, you just flip the pad off. Yeah. They're brilliant. That feels lovely, doesn't it? Isn't it really hydrating? Mm. I don't like that stingy tight. Yeah. Um, the other thing they're really good for is if you've got a tanning disaster. <laughs> We've all had those before. Haven't right. We? So I made them as like a dual purpose. So if you've got terrible knuckles yeah. that have picked up bad tan, yeah. these will take it off. Oh. Or if you've got hair dye that's gone wrong, yeah. you can take it. Yeah. So that's... Multi so a multi-purpose pad then. Multi-purpose. <laughs> okay. So... When you go on the site, if you if you ever look at our site for tan, yeah, it's a three step process. How I look at tan is the same way that I apply makeup. So right. I've been a makeup artist, everyone, for like twenty years, <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's the same process. I don't believe that there's any difference between tan, skin color, skin change, yeah, and makeup. Yeah. So you wouldn't just put concealer or foundation straight on a dry skin, right? 
No, not, of course not. You're, you're going to put a primer on a serum and prep the canvas, as we call it. Yeah. It's the same, uh, same as an amazing manicure that you're going to have for your wedding. Yeah. It's going to be so well prepped. So it's all about prep. Now, for someone that's never used tan before, how often would you suggest that they need to maybe practice with this, first of all, before the big day kind of thing? You don't just want to whack this on the night before if you've never used tan before. It depends if you're going to be doing, so you can do, if you're going to be doing your body tan, mm -hmm. I would say definitely do it for your trial. Yeah. So do it like two, I do red carpet and wedding tans always two days before. Yeah. So the color, the color blends in, everything's settled down. You can get a good feel because if you're wearing a white dress or a light dress, you don't want it. To, I don't want it to be too obvious. Yeah. And also a tip also when you go to try your wedding dresses on for the first time. Yes. Also have the tan done have for the them so that you'll feel much better in them in any case, you know, because wearing white for the first time is sometimes quite, oh, OK. So, you know, you need a bit of colour on your skin. Because we don't all wear white, right? Yeah. A lot of the time we've never worn white. So you're going to you're going to be putting a tan on Thursday night and you're going to go and have a wedding dress fitting on the Saturday. Yeah. Or you're going to put the tan on and have the trial on the Saturday for the hair and makeup. Yeah. Wear a white t shirt. Good You've got to be wearing the colour because if you are going to put some colour on the skin it's going to change everything. It's going to change the hair. It's going to change the makeup. It's going to change what they're going to do. Yeah. That's absolutely. really important. Don't go crazy because also you've got someone else next to you in a photo and you've got to think about their <laughs> color as well. <laughs> yes. You've, I see so many photos when the bride's looking all beautiful and colored and, and then you need the groom. And bless him, he just looks normal. But it's because you're glowing so much that makes him look uh, to the detriment, really. And that's the other thing is, is skin is skin wellness. So, yes, you've got tan on, but what I'm obsessed with is skin health and yeah. the way, the, the, like, the inner glow. Mm -hmm. And you've got to be prepping that skin. Yes, you can go and have facials, which yeah. a lot of us are doing now, you know, before a wedding is suddenly you get into a routine of having facials that's here yeah you've got to think about the rest of it if you're having a beautiful dress made which is backless and it's got everything you know, everything's on show that's yeah. also you know a lot of us don't have a lot on show yeah yeah, yeah. wedding day so it's just treating the whole thing as one yeah i agree with you totally and um, just before you start on the, the prep Sorry, for the face. if we were going to prep our body before fake tan yeah shaving exfoliating before we actually apply how soon before we tan should we do that everything gets done before tan so tan comes last manicures pedicures everything is done so if you're getting married on a saturday you're doing all of that prep, I'd say, on a Wednesday, yeah, or the Thursday, and then you're tanning the Thursday night. Yeah, someone's just saying here, Amanda Harrington tan is great for men, especially the face mist around the beards. <laughs> it's true because of the brushes. Yeah, so exactly. Buff it in. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> so true. It's, you don't Sorry, know, carry that, on. But that's great. That, you know, that's good. He's picked up on that because. Um, of the you know I do I do a lot more men now the groom yeah. because they want they want some color they want some life yeah exactly oh totally so, with you totally agree but if we show everyone what it's like yes so how do we start then with the now your primer I mean until I met you I was like I would just apply a fake tan straight onto the skin and then you're like but why would you apply makeup before primer as well and I was like oh my god it's so true it's so obvious when you tell me but well yeah I guess, I guess so I mean I remember just I just remember when I first started turning which was oh my god 1999 maybe yeah. um and all you could get were these alcohol-based sprays yeah and it was dehydrating everyone looks 2d 
the colours are unbelievable and very scary. So that's when I started playing around with my own stuff in the kitchen. I was mixing tints, I was putting creams on. And so that's where we are here. And it, this has taken 15 years to make. So <laughs> we're okay now. For everyone but, listen up. <laughs> so, so what you need in your skin mm -hmm. is hyaluronic, collagens, um, aloe vera, yes. So that is the primer. It's also a gradual tan. So I don't, I don't mind if you're not going to use the mist on the top. You're just going to use this every day mm -hmm. as a gradual tan. Okay? okay. So pop a bit on all over. How many squares? Three, maybe. Okay. And go underneath here. Sorry, you can't really see me. I'm trying to be in the lightest place like that. So it feels really good. Mm-hmm not too stick no just right. dries instantly yeah then you have a brush we've got two face brushes and two body brushes the body brushes are a lot bigger mm -hmm. now again think about the way you do your makeup what looks better not fingers <laughs> not mitts you wouldn't put a mitt no i'd be it. scared to put a face mitt on my face no quite so Take so these mists, these are my colour mists. Um, they come in three different skin tones. Have you got honey? Yeah. Yeah, natural honey. I've got I've got rose. So rose is the lightest one, and you've got the next one. And then what's the third one called? Olive. Olive, okay. So olives for like an Italian skin, an Arabian skin, a skin that goes like that in the sun, you flip. Yeah. And it comes alive again. Um, but in the winter you might feel quite sallow and yellow. Yeah. You're a Californian honey and I'm a fair I'm fairer than you, so I have rose. So you can do this two ways. Like you can just spritz it on like that. Okay. And then you buff it in. Or if you're scared by that, which you shouldn't be, you can put it straight on the brush. But let's just spritz it on. You can put it on the neck. It smells so nice as well, which is so it smells fresh. really fresh. It won't you won't smell of tan. We've got rid of that. Those that's the dark ages. <laughs> it's a great so it great you know, so you have an instant hit of colour. It's got illuminator in it, so you can wear this now mm. and then it will deepen slightly, but you'll have a long-lasting effect of it. So it's like putting semi-permanent makeup on. And But it's not like with suntans, where you can't really see what you're putting on and you don't know what's going to happen until the next day. This is kind of, you know, it's going to go a little bit darker, but not... Yeah. Especially. And you can build it like this. Can you see me? Sorry. I'm putting in the wrong place. Yeah. I can but see ready, you can see colour, yeah. So then... That was, that's kind of one layer of, you know, yes. And then this is when you, this is the good, this is the good stuff. So get yeah. the brush again. Yeah. Spritz one spray. Yeah. Right. And then you're going to cheekbone it. So you're going to tap in here. Yeah. And then blend up. And then you're going to go into the temple up here. Like you would a bronzer. Yeah. And it gives you a lift oh. in the face. So it gives you a contour. Look at that. Oh my yeah. God, you can so see the difference. Yeah. Look at that. And you know what it's doing? It's slimming the face down yeah. and it's lifting the whole thing and the eyes 100%. pop. 100%. I mean, you can totally see that. It's so easy. Then do the other side. One spritz, other side, like this. I, I think, though, people are scared with fake tan, aren't they? To kind of, yeah, yeah, of course. do the contour yeah, yeah. like, oh my goodness what's about making a mistake what am i going to do but with the brush you can't, you can't really make a mistake can you? you can't make a mistake because a you can't make a mistake with these these formulas i get it some towns are so dark that they stain yeah and you can't move them around because they're alcohol based these yeah, have yeah. alcohol in pyrolonic so they glide on and then I love, I'm obsessed with like um, a sharp chin. Oh, so I can do that. Here. Yeah. <laughs> there. So where am I going now? Underneath? Underneath on the jawline. Look there. Okay. And then down. Oh. 
This is amazing. <laughs> no one ever tells me how to do my makeup. I'm always yeah. like watching people. I'm just like, this is such a treat. <gasps> and then you can blend it into the neck. Mm. And then you can go onto the collarbones and get those done. If you've got a t-shirt on, obviously go further down. If you're, you can use these mess on your hands. If you've got Okay. Now, I have to say, that's one thing for me, is the hands. I've always yeah. found it really difficult. But it's so good with the brush, isn't it? Because you can just literally... That's it. You just put it on and blend it in. It's so easy. So good. Now, how would we... If we were buying this product over the internet, how would we know which colour we were? It's, it's really quite simple. There's, there's obviously a diagnostic on the website. So yeah. if you're a little bit unsure... I'll always ask us. We will DM you straight back and be yeah. like, you're a rose, you're a honey, you're not. Yeah. Some people are, well, we are all paler in the winter yeah. because we don't see the sun. So I'm a rose now, but by August, I might go to a honey. Yeah. You might go to an olive. Love you to be in an olive. Yeah. So you can switch it up, but the base color stays the same. Yeah. So if, I'm always a rose, you're always going to be a honey. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But if, I suppose, if you went in the sun, you could get a good tan within okay. a few days, right? Now, how long does it last for as well? The face depends on your skincare. The face, if you're using, as I said earlier, retinols, glycolic, salicylics, they're gonna, yeah. it's going to fade up quicker yeah. than if you're using a gentle facial wash. So I'd say... With a gentle facial wash, three days, four days. Yeah. But I, I mean, I top it up once every couple, every three days. Yeah. Just like, it takes one minute. Yeah. And and you know what, though? That is the key. I think sometimes, you know, at night, we're just like, oh, I can't be bothered to do a full fake tan. Whereas with this, no. you've got a quick I, rash. <laughs> off yeah. you go. And also, it's so good. So good. Especially with the Zoom chats. Yeah. No, <laughs> Who is. needs to do the whole body when you can just do the face? Eh? You can just do <laughs> the face, and you can build it. Like I, you know, whatever you want to do, just play, just play with it, and you can put makeup straight over this. Yeah, which is which is the absolute. Now tell me, just veering off the subject slightly, you were in LA for the Oscars, weren't you? Ellie? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. you were taking the tanning brand out there and uh, fake tanning people before the Oscars. I mean, that must have been amazing. Uh, yeah, red carpet tanning is a whole other ball game. It, it's kind of the same as wedding tanning as well. So yeah. Bridal... Times ten, maybe. <laughs> because you're prepping. You're. I mean, I'm doing one body for three days. <gasps> so I'm doing prep day one, and then I'm going back in and doing finishing day two gradual tans and then i'm contouring yeah day three and then building them into a dress <gasps> so i work with the stylist i know i know about their form yeah. i know if they've got slightly rolled rounded shoulders and i need to put them back <gasps> and i'll shade them in so it's like a work of art really it person. is a work of art. it's a body painting it's a work oh. of art yeah Gosh. and so how long does it take you to contour a body when you're doing celebrity red carpet <sighs> Probably two hours. No, really? Yeah. <gasps> yeah, because I'm like, I'm in the detail and it's like doing makeup for me. Yeah. And you're oh doing goodness. finishes and you're elongating arms and it's so beautiful. And do it for men too, for the actors. Yeah, it's well, edge, why not? Edge. We can't leave them out, can we? No, they <laughs> love it. They're now, more obsessed, yeah. What, yeah. Ad what advice would you give to brides who haven't ever used yes. a face tan before? Because I think a lot of people, well, a lot of people, a lot of brides sometimes, they want to look the best possible version of themselves. But sometimes that means that they try to look like they actually don't look in real life, which, you know, at ceremony, we are big advocates of, you don't need to totally change yourself. You just need to make yourself a more polished version of who you already are. So what would you say for first timers with fake tan? Well, I just want to say sorry to brides that have had to delay their weddings. I know. It's so sad. It is so sad. Yeah. And I keep thinking about that. And also I keep thinking about, you know, the prep, that the prep stages that they're obviously going to miss and they're going to delay the weddings. And, and so tanning, quick, 
quick fixes yeah i know that they may they may be easy for you to think about because you don't have the time to prep but just as you say you've got to look like yourself and go easy definitely and i think you know, a lot of brides have said that maybe if they're wanting they were having summer weddings but now they're having winter weddings yeah. so like how would the tan maybe change for a winter wedding kind of thing oh completely change so in the summer so obviously if they were having a summer wedding and they're going to delay it till september let's say yeah they may have been going away in the summer thinking i'm going to get a base tan yeah and then my skin's gonna you know and then i don't need to fake tan so mm -hmm. there may be a lot in that camp mm. i if you haven't tanned before start scrubbing the skin so i've got an amazing glycolic body scrub and, yeah. and a hyaluronic moisturizer and those two things just make your skin like parisian skin like porcelain beautiful yeah. then start playing with gradual tans yeah you know start the cream base that's all you need to do. See how you feel. Yeah. And then, um, then you can move up to a mousse. You know, yeah. like a very light souffle mousse. And it's just, it's so, I wish I had it. It's so beautiful. And I've, it's I've actually got it right here. One second. Yeah. Oh, and you've got the arm out. So maybe you'll see. Maybe you'll show. Yeah. Hi, so, <laughs> so basically, the mousse. I love a mousse as well. Yeah. Okay. What I don't love about mousse is yeah. when people look oh, like with mitt. No, I don't get on with mitts. Because mitts absorb product. Mitts also are really unhygienic. I mean, they they go green. They harbour germs. So yeah. if you use those gloves. Yeah, I'm I'm putting them on now. <laughs> so guys, when you guys buy a mousse, you're going to bin your mitt and you're going to start with these puppies, which are nitro gloves. They're like tattoo gloves, and I give them to you in the box. Yes. I forgot to say that, actually. In the box comes the tan and the gloves. So you yeah. get both items, which is fab. Because you know what? So many times I've been caught out with fake tan, come home, and then I haven't got any gloves because I've just, you know, used them all. So that's really great that it's already all there. And also, we're all wearing these quite, I mean, my, I think my mother's stolen all of my gloves. <laughs> They can double up as your shopping gloves, can't they? <laughs> what? That's what she's using them for. Is anyway. she? <laughs> so you just, I can't, I haven't got it, but it's a, but yeah, it's okay. the mousse. So um, am I going in the hand? Yeah, put it in the hand and then just show everyone on a forearm how easy it's like a oh, souffle. Okay. So it doesn't stain. You've got amazing arms too. So, <laughs> but just one glaze will yeah. just skin down one notch yeah and just it has just taken the edge off it takes the edge off and that's what i'm interested in i'm just interested just in so you can see that. just mm -hmm. evening out the skin and let the skin do the talking if that makes sense yeah totally i think what i like about your products as well is they are easy to apply because they do yeah. have color in them as well i mean there's nothing worse than getting a fake tan but it's got no color in it you don't know where it's going and then you're like, oh, have I rubbed it in enough? And then that's when you get stripes. What about a little few tricks for, you know, when we do have the fake tan disasters? Yes. And if you haven't got the uh, glyconic face pads that we were talking about earlier, yes. what could we use at home that we might have in our cupboards to get rid of those streaky stripes? Okay, so <laughs> what did I use in the past? I used to use a concoction of things. So this, again, I don't think you're having your... Um, in your cupboard but what is amazing yeah. is hair dye remover really yeah and there's one called cling cling coal or something and it's a liquid <laughs> and it removes tan instantly so you just put it on cotton wool and it will take it off oh. um, it in a okay if it's really bad sit in a warm oily bath for about 20 minutes oh really oh that's a good tip the heat yeah and oil yeah. will lift the skin will yeah. lift the um lift the dha off the mantle right yeah yeah then you come out and then you get a damp hot cloth or a flannel which is quite rough yeah and you flip it out ah. and you it off and you have to just keep scrubbing it out and it will come off 
That's a great tip. That is yeah, that is one to take. I'll take that. Amanda Harrington I was said. Using, I was using Sif at one point. Really? I, mean, <laughs> I remember you saying that before. I was like, I've still got Sif under my uh, kitchen cabinet. Yeah, yeah. Sif. And now tell us, if we want to get hold of the tan, I know there's a lot of places that you can't get hold of things at the moment, but I mean, beauty products seem to be, you know, yes, they are few and far between because obviously I know we spoke before that, you know, stocks are running out, but where can we buy it from? So we have just got honey back in stock, which is you. We yeah. sold a lot of honey, it's such a popular colour. I mean, you look glowing. You Honestly, look I feel so much better now I've got that on. Yeah. Um, um, but it's on our website, which is www.amandaharrington.com. Yeah. That's still going full flow. It's also on Amazon. Oh, yes. Perfect. And if I look at my list of items that I bought from Amazon really recently, it's hilarious. It ranges from makeup to a toilet seat to food. To... <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah. We're, def we're on there. Perfect. And then Harvey Nichols. But I think there's not much stock left on there. So I go to our, our site is where you'll get also you'll get told if you, you know, if you want to know about the skin tones, we can talk you through that. Especially and there's an email address so that they can email through as well. Of course, and... you can DM the um, Instagram, um, Amanda Harrington London. There's all, there's just, we're on 24-7. Oh, so that's the place to ask all the questions. Absolutely fantastic. And I will always answer your, um, your bridal queries as well. Um, and we, do, you know, we do do brides. Um, tans when we're, when we're allowed to you know. <laughs> when you're allowed to get get your mitts these, on them these hands are going mad you know what am i doing so oh, yes yeah. so yeah remember that bride when you actually know. do get married um we'll put yes. a little um, link on a post that we're going to put up about you guys as well you know you can actually have amanda's team come out and tan you so if you are worried about doing it yourself and think i could never do this um, so try it try it yourself we've got time right we've yeah. got time at home this is easy. This is, and, and, and you know, get your fiance to do your back. There's a big <laughs> blend it in. Exactly. And make sure he doesn't steal all your tan. That's the point. Oh, no, that's what's happening. <laughs> my, all my friends. Amanda, oh. can you send me some more tan? Because uh, it's got on their face. Like, okay. oh. Amanda, thank you so See much. You, Rose. Oh, we've got, oh, we've just got a question here. Can you use rose as a base and the honey to create the contour on the arms, legs and chest? Of course you can. I like you. I like your style. <laughs> um, I know we've, we've spoken before, but I use rose all over and then I contour with olive. Ah, there you go then. I really sharpen up, but either honey or olive is perfect to, to contour with. It's that's what I want you to do is like play with the colors. Yeah. It's like you doing makeup, you know, you have a lighter base yeah. and then you go in with a, with a darker bronzer. Yeah. So it gives you more shape. Perfect. Well, I am going to go and tan my whole body now. You've totally inspired me. Good. Amanda, thank you so much. And um, guys, that. we're going to put this live video up on Instagram yes. as well. So you'll be able to get hold of it. Um, and, and I think we've got a discount code coming. So look yes, after we that. have. So we'll pop that up so you'll be able to get all of your lovely products before they run out. Thank you, Nicole. All right, take care, Amanda. See you. Bye. Bye. Lots of love. Bye.